Hi, everybody. Welcome to Youth Line Live. My name is Elijah Juan Martin, and, and this is Lily. And we're going to be talking to you guys today about a whole bunch of different information. But first off, we want to start off by saying thank you all for tuning in to our past episodes. Now, I know the last two weeks we had some reruns going on and uh, we weren't actually here. Uh, that's because we had a lot of different meetings going on over at our chalk office. So we were really busy. And so uh, we had to do some reruns. But however, I hope y'all did enjoy those reruns for some of you who may not have even seen them before. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, also, I want to thank you all for those who tune in throughout the month of November um, with our monthly focus of that month being technology and evolution of technology and just how it has an effect on the community around. Um, for this month, we're going into the idea of depression. Um, and that's the reason I know it's like, uh, it's the holidays. Why are y'all talking about depression? That doesn't make sense. You should be talking about something cheerful. Well, the reason we're going to start going into depression is because although there's a lot of great cheer and happiness that comes with the holidays, there are a lot of people who don't always get to enjoy the holidays the way that a lot of us do. And so those people, a lot of times, go through depression and a lot of different things. And we want to talk about that throughout this month to bring up those issues and try and better help add comfort and bring closeness throughout this, you know, month of December to try and show that love to everybody else, right? Cool. So, since we're going to be focusing on depression, we're going to um, talk about, for our very first episode today, talking about bullying. And um, to get into that, before we get into bullying, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Sorry about that. Rewind didn't say it. Happy Thanksgiving. I know. It's kind of late. It already passed. But anyways, um, hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I know I did. Um, I don't know about you. Enjoyed your Thanksgiving? Turkey was kind of dry. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hilarious. Turkey was kind of dry. Cool. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. So um, I guess before we get into this show, um, talking about bullying, I just want to ask, you know, what are you thankful for? Lou? You know, I'm just thankful that we're in this place right now rather than somewhere off in some other world some other century where i don't have rights mm -hmm. and you know we talk about vintage stuff hipster stuff talking about we're born in the wrong generation and you know what i think we're all thankful for being able to enjoy the vintage stuff mm -hmm. in the modern generation yeah <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So, um, something I'm thankful for. I am thankful for my friends and family and everybody here at Chalk and Youthline. I love them so much and we do so much together, make a lot of great work, so I'm thankful for all that. And as well, I'm just thankful for um, knowing the people that I know in my life. You know, I'm able to make a lot of changes because of them and I've grown a lot because of them. So, I'm, I'm very thankful for that as well. So, now that we've talked a little, about, a little bit about what we're thankful for, we want to also mention that anytime throughout the show that you want to call in, feel free to call in. The phone number is below. It's 415-861-6648. And you can call in to ask us questions or if you just want to say hey, because you might even recognize us, right? Um, so, feel free to call in anytime throughout the show. Um, and in addition to calling in, we also have... Um, a website on youthlinemedia.org and we have a tab on there called Dear Listener. So throughout the show, you can go to the Dear Listener tab and write questions and posts on them and we'll respond to those questions and information. Or if you just want to have a general talk to get deeper into the subject that we talked about here today, we can go into all of that with you on our Dear Listeners tab on our youthlinemedia.org webpage. Feel free to check that out anytime throughout the show and um, throughout the show and uh, send us some messages. Okay, and then we also have youthlinesf.org, which we give resources and information about jobs and different stuff going on in the community. So if you want to check that stuff out, feel free to look at that too. Again, that's youthlinesf.org. Um, and we're just going to go into the topic for today. So what is bullying? That's the main question we want to get across, right? The first thing is what is bullying? Bullying is using your superior strength or influence to intimidate someone, uh, make them feel less of themselves. You know, typically to force 
he or she, whoever the individual is, to do what that what the person who is bullying wants. So it's a way of getting your way. Um, and bullying could come in many different forms. And I don't know if we, you want to bounce back and forth with me on these forms. Um, I mean, I think we're all familiar with verbal as well as, um, you know, physical actually mm-hmm. hitting the person instead of mm-hmm. just talking and making fun. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. think there was also the covert, you know? Yeah, there's so there's Coverse. covert and hidden bullying. So um, covert and hidden bullying are the ones that we see a lot more in movies where people are like gossiping behind each other's backs, trying to ruin somebody's reputation. It's not physically seen. You're not physically seeing the person bully you. However, you're hearing rumors about yourself throughout the school and stuff like that. That's a form of bullying that's usually hidden because it's like a little bit more secretive. Or when that person's making a face at you and the teacher's not looking and they're like, You know, that's a hidden form of bullying, too, because once that teacher turns around, the teacher doesn't see the face anymore. Nobody else knows it but that person. They're sitting there like, dang, I just got bullied instantaneously in front of everyone. And the teacher didn't even see it. And speaking of hidden, I think um, we have a popular, um, you know, trend of using cyberbullying because this generation enjoys using social media as an outlet and Mm -hmm. they um use it and because the other people the other person does not see their face Mm -hmm. and they don't have to face you know the the consequences and the feelings of the other person yeah and cyberbullying is definitely like using any form of technology or media to make someone else feel bad or get at them and make them feel less you know and people people constantly do that we see that even in the media with stuff like um videos and pictures of kim kardashian and kanye west and stuff like that uh, when paparazzi go around and send out information like oh justin bieber just got a new haircut it's ridiculous you know stuff like that those are all ways of bullying and actually to us it just looks like gossip but it's on a different scale that's cyber bullying um so those are the five main forms of bullying so to just recap actually i think i may have missed one but just to recap we went through and said verbal bullying physical bullying uh covert and hidden bullying and cyber bullying so there actually is one more the last one is relational bullying so relational bullying is not always seen as well sometimes could come in a form of hidden bullying it's that bullying in the sense of i just threw a huge party but i purposefully didn't invite this person and now whenever i'm around that person i'm bragging about the party to make them feel bad make them feel less wanted or less cared about and that's also a form of bullying because that tend to make people feel lonely depressed and want to push themselves away from everyone right and we don't want to do that so um Those are the five forms of bullying. Again, feel free to check that out. We did some um, research for that information at these two websites at ncab.org.au. You could go on there and check out the information for yourself and uh, read more in depth about the examples of what those forms of bullying are. As well, um, the information is also able to be found on parents.com as well. That's another website I went to uh, where it gives parent information on how to recognize the effects of bullying how to stop it all that type of stuff right you know and it's also very important that parents show that you know support Mm -hmm. to the um, victims of bullying because instead of telling them either to man up or get over it or you'll grow out of it and that's Mm -hmm. what kids do it does leave a mark and you know now instead of having just bullying on the outside now it's sort of bullying from your family as well because they don't care definitely so moving on from that that's a perfect segue into the next thing where we talk about the effects of bullying because all those different forms that you're getting bullied have some effects they can have an effect both on the person who's being bullied and the person who's doing the bullying so let's go through that and um check out some of that stuff right now talk about that so for Effects of bullying, one of the first thing, um, do you want to take a shot about it? And you know, list? since this month <laughs> is depression and we're talking about, um, you know, these sad feelings and the loneliness of, you know, you're trapped in a corner when you're hearing all these things about yourself and you, 
you just feel trapped and there's no way to go mm-hmm. and and you know it could lead to depression and anxiety and all these mental disorders that people are not taken seriously mm-hmm. but it should because anxiety of course it it's it's not just your normal oh i'm anxious about this test but mm-hmm. it's anxiety where it prevents you from going on with your regular activities and it could take forms in panic attacks to just you just you just stop yeah definitely as well um it could move more to like she said health complaints and concerns such as panic attacks and stuff like that but more health complaints as well as not eating you know bad eating habits and such like that you know which can result to a loss of energy, a lack of focus when in class, all that type of stuff. Um, and especially if you're being bullied about your appearances, that could lead to eating disorders. Mm-hmm. Either um, if people are saying that you're too fat or too skinny, you could be eating too much or too little. Mm-hmm. And that just leads to all these type of health problems. So bullying has like a chain effect that can continue to affect somebody. It it can have long lasting effects as well. And uh, to get more into those long lasting effects, kids who are actually bullied um, usually have to deal with these type of effects in their daily lives going on with them. Um, For some of them, in the future, as they get older, they might experience alcohol abuse and drug abuse due to, you know, in their adolescence being bullied so much now older they're dependent on these drugs and stuff to make them feel better to make them feel more confident about themselves and all of that um as well they might be more violence prone um prone to getting to more fights uh breaking rules and stuff like that um and so on and so forth you want to continue and um you know of course they get in trouble more because of this um added on aggression that they now have they could, it could also lead to um, domestic violence when they have romantic partners because now instead of feeling um, helpless themselves, they decide to be the dominant one and, you know, bully and harm others. Yes, and as well, then they start to take on other effects and traits when they become a bully, such as, you know, more criminal convictions and stuff like that. Um, engage in early sexual activities and things of that nature. Um, You might recognize that a youth has, you know, they have a PO at an early age and stuff like that. Um, That might be, you know, a sign of them being a youth who's either bullied before or they're bullying someone now. And the results of it is, you know, those convictions that they have. Um, And, you know, it's not just the victims or the bully themselves that are getting affected bystanders are also affected by this mm-hmm. and the way that bystanders are affected are they can have increased as well alcohol and drug use from seeing something so vulgar seeing somebody depending on what the bullying situation is it can be as vulgar as watching somebody get beat to unconsciousness and that could have a toll on somebody instantly and you would easily could turn to drugs and tobacco and drinking and all of that a lot more Um, as well they might have increased health and mental problems uh, depression or instability just because of belief that stuff like this exists in their daily lives or um, they might even miss and skip out on their educational you know requirements and duties like going to school and stuff like that they might skip class and all that type of stuff or start failing more tests or show up to class late so on and so forth and you know one way to see this is that you know when you're a bystander and you're not doing anything that could make you feel like oh i'm just useless in situations Mm -hmm. so it puts you in this powerless position where you're stuck wondering why or what should i do next and for some people as well with bystanders i want to also bring up uh guilt because for myself i've been a bystander before and i felt guilty after seeing something that happened that i didn't intervene because even though i was afraid to intervene i didn't want to get hurt myself by me just standing there i feel even worse because now this person had no support you know maybe if they had more support something could have changed it could have happened a different way 
So just keep in mind that it doesn't only affect the person who's being bullied, but it affects the bully and even people who are watching this go down. Um, and then all of this has a huge connection with suicide as well. But I want to um, take our time with this part just because it's very important to recognize that media reports bullying as often the reason why people are suicidal. And um, however, that is not true most youth who are bullied actually do not have suicidal thoughts or engage in suicidal uh, tendencies or behaviors um, although kids who are bullied are at risk for suicide um, there are a lot of other things that contribute to someone being suicidal and we want to just briefly go over those many of the different contributions to suicide um, include depression so they might have already had a long lasting depression before they started getting bullying and the bullying added to their depression and made them feel more lonely and more, um, I can't think of the word, uh, more separated from the group, Isolation. more distant, isolated. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. More isolated from everyone. Um, as well, they might be already having problems at home and that could contribute you know if you're getting bullied and you already have family problems that could also help you get to that point of being like you know i don't want to be around anymore feeling suicidal so it's not just bullying alone but it's a lot of different things also trauma of history of things that may have happened to you in the past um and additional risks of suicide also comes with specific groups of cultures and as well so to go through that there's um actually american indian people are most likely have a higher risk at being at committing suicide as well as Alaskan natives, um, Asian Americans, le lesbians, gays, bisexuals, and transient youth all have a higher risk of being um, suicidal. And this, this is all based off of different case studies that were done uh, to find this information. And if you want to know where we got this information from as well, we got that from stopbullying.gov and you could go on there and find out any information that you need around bullying. They have a lot of different information for both youth who are in elementary school experience bullying all the way up into high school youth, even into your adulthood. Because there's people who are even now in adulthood experiencing bullying day in and day out. Um, and just also keep in mind the risks of suicide can also increase um, due to lack of support of parents and friends, which we mentioned earlier. So if you're not showing that support, if you know somebody might be going through a lot of struggles within their life and you see that they might be getting bullied, you know, it's very important that they have support and have somebody that they can rely on because that support can very well pull them out of that depression or anxiety that they're in. And so moving on to the next thing, we want to go from the effects of bullying to recognizing the signs and how you can help prevent it, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, so when we talked about verbal and physical, and that's like obvious mm -hmm. signs that you are getting bullied, but, mm -hmm. you know, and there are other signs because you sometimes don't know if you are being bullied or not because it could get ambiguous ambiguous mm -hmm. uh, when it <laughs> it could um, come from friends yeah. because you you're put in this situation you think it's a joke and we're all laughing but then there comes a time where you realize you're not laughing anymore yeah so as well too yeah that's very important to remember you gotta keep that you gotta keep that in check with your friends because y'all do joke a lot there's a lot of the you know roast sessions going around everybody loves to have a good roast session but however not everybody is able to take what is dished out at a roast session so you might want to be cautious of that as well um some signs of bullying that you can pay attention to are when there's somebody who's actually being bullied you can recognize unexplainable injuries or torn clothing uh, lost or destroyed clothing books electronic or jewelry personal items um, frequent headaches, stomach aches, or feeling sick, or even faking sick so that they don't have to go to school or deal with their bullies, so on and so forth. Um, you want to continue? And um, there are changings in eating habits, going back to um, appearances and declining grades and testing scores. Those are very good, um, you know, red flags because, you know, people don't 
they don't do bad yeah in in such a sudden change and yeah, yeah it's yeah. like and uh, it's very important to pay attention to that stuff because the youth could be doing really well in class and then all of a sudden you see their grades drop and it could very well be that it's because of bullying and not because they're just getting lazy which we assume a lot of the times um there's also sudden loss of friends that could come with being bullied you might recognize your kid or your friend isn't going out as much that's because they're possibly being bullied low self-esteem feelings of destructive behaviors wanting to do something destructive or hurt somebody or running away or harming themselves mm -hmm. um, and so on and so forth so if you know anyone with those signs please try and get help for them right away and then as quickly as possible i'm going to try to go through the signs of someone who is bullying so you can recognize those as well we got about a minute left in the show so bear with me um so someone who is doing the bullying, signs of that could be more fighting and verbal and physical. Uh, so they might wanna have more arguments with people. Uh, friends might be also bullying. So you might recognize that youth has a lot of vulgar or mean friends. Um, they have an increased aggression. So they might be a little bit more angry. Um, they might get sent to the principal's office or detention a lot more or so on and so forth. Um, unexplained money or jewelry that they might have more often. They might blame others for their problem, problems and don't accept their own problems. Um, and they might be more competitive than usual. So you might wanna watch out for that. That might be signs of a bully. Um, so again, we wanna thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Youth Line Live. So with our 10 seconds left, I wanna say our last goodbyes. And um, do you have anything you wanna end with? Important to think. Laugh with friends, not laugh by friends. Bye. Yeah.